In this video I want to introduce some HO scale boxcars that I designed, or I think it's a better word to say, redesigned. These here are boxcars of the type EAOS. There are two different types which I have designed so far and you can build them in six different variations. But before we get into these variants, let's go over the model in general. They come separated into different parts. And they are separated as follows. First of all, we have the body of the car. It includes some details on the underside. It includes the entire frame and the doors. A few stairs here. And yeah, all of these small details. Next up, we have the bogies. They are a newly designed, highly detailed version of, of the ones I used in previous models. Then there are the details on the underside of the wagon. This one, this, and that one. And all of the other fine details like these handrails, the buffers, and yeah, the handrails are different on one side, on one end, and they are like that here on the other end. So when fully assembled, it looks something like that. Now let's get into the different variants. So this is the EAOS X075 type. It comes in two different variants and those variants can be identified by this reinforcement beam on the front. One of them is in a rectangle shape and the other one is in a triangle shape. So this is what they look like on the other side when fully assembled and painted. And here are the smaller details I pointed out earlier and I strongly recommend that you only assemble them after you have painted and tested the wagon. Because they break off very easily. Moving on, this is the EAOS X051. The main difference to the previous version is that it features another set of doors. But apart from that, they are pretty similar. Of course, they come in two different versions as well, identifiable by the supporting beam on the front. But here in this case, I only printed one of them. And now to the last version. This is an EAOS X051 type wagon, but it has this platform here on the front, which accommodates a handbrake. The body of the car is almost exactly the same. It is of the same length, but because of the platform, the overall length of the wagon is longer. I am not sure if it can be seen on the video here. But because of that, it needs longer buffers and a longer NEM coupling pocket. So please keep that in mind when you assemble this wagon. Otherwise, you might run into some problems. And lastly, I want to show the evolution of the bogies. The bogey that I'm using on this version is now the third generation and it looks way more detailed than the previous versions that I used. So the links to the files can be found in the description. 
I have added both supported and unsupported versions of these models so you can experiment a little bit to see if you can get even better print results than I did. The supported files might not be the best solution or the best angle for these models but it's what worked for me and I was pretty happy with the result. I didn't want to have too many supports that I need to remove because that's quite a pain. Something that I would have to add is this. After you have painted the wagons, some of the parts might stick together a little bit, especially the bogey and the NEM coupler pocket. And because the wagons overall are very light, they tend to derail, especially when those parts cannot yet turn properly. So I strongly recommend that you add some weight to the wagons, at least the first time you use them. There is also a table out there that tells you how much weight a wagon should have per millimeter length, broken down for each scale, so you might want to consult that too. In my experience, if you follow these guidelines, you will have a lot of fun with your 3D printed wagons. That's it for this video and I hope to be back soon with more content.